are back, everybody. Now, the Bank of Guam will hold their annual BOG EFIT 5K run on Saturday the 10th. And what makes this year extra special is that the bank is also celebrating 40 years. Joining me now is Bank of Guam's Mike Nahalawa and Guam Cancer Cares Executive Director Terry Quaddle. Gentlemen, half a day. Half a day. Half a day to you. Thank okay. you for inviting us. Okay, yeah, so really. 5Ks are always a very festive, uh, very active part of our island culture here. You know, you'll always get thousands of people come out and uh, participate in very happily so. Um, let's talk about the route for the 5K and everything because, you know, everybody always comes up with like the most clever route. Some people do hills, some people do uh, scenics and everything like that. So what have you guys got planned for us? Uh, actually, the route for the 5K is a flat course. Mm -hmm. uh, proceeds from uh, the Bank Guam headquarters, goes over Route 4, all the way to Espinal Avenue. Mm -hmm. Then you turn into West Soledad and your turnaround point is at 9th Street where the Chody Market is at. Mm -hmm. and then you go from um, West O'Brien all the way back across Route 4 back to the Bank Guam headquarters. What makes the run very special is that we will have chewing sections. We have, act, we have about eight chewing sections. We'll be different parts of the course where, where we have a lot of bank employees and our supporters. They'll be there chewing everybody going on, as well as the water stops that we have. We have two water stops as well. So obviously this is going to be very good for um, Guam's competitive racers too because they can you know, try and get the best time and everything with the course being flat. Well, there's a reason why you want to be competitive because you know, for the top, uh, the, the first male or female that crosses the finish line, you've got a thousand dollar prize. Very good. Okay, so there's an incentive aspect it's to it. It's a big incentive aspect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, and so in addition to the, comp the competitive climate and the incentive and everything, also the funds that are raised also go to a very good cause. So Terry, tell us about that. Yes, uh, I belong to Guam Cancer Care, and we're, we're very humbled by Bank of Guam's support of our, our, our organization. We've, we've been formed since June of last year, and so far we've helped over 100 cancer patients access treatment. Um, we've done a lot for the community and, and we, we thank all the supporters such as Bank of Guam and the sponsors of this event. And um, there's a lot of people at home who have cancer. We provide assistance through navigation and advocacy by uh, getting them the chemo drugs that they need or coordinating their, their treatments, whether it be for lodging, for, for airfare, or whatever needs that they, they may have to access treatment. Mm -hmm. Now, I guess the most obvious question before we proceed is, will we see the two of you also out there, like, running the course, or are you going to be one of the cheerers, Mike? No, no, I, I'm, I'm going to run the course. I'm not going to be the fastest, you know, I'll probably be behind everybody else, but I'm, I will be running the course. All right, good yeah. man. How about you, <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I, 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 if Mike runs, I'll run. Okay, well, that, that is the perfect way to, to sucker KUM into doing a follow-up interview with you, so very, very well played. Okay, so, so for the people that do want, do want to take part in everything, where can people register? Okay, right now, the, the main registering point is at uh, Hornet Sporting Goods. We also have all our branches. All 13 of our branches have applications and numbers, so you can go to any one of the branches. And the day before the, the event, we will have a, um, a signing section in our main office as well as, as a Hornet bicycle shop as well. Mm -hmm. And we're actually running around dropping sure. applications to different companies and, and, and businesses. And if companies want to do something different where they have the applications, they could call our office and our staff will come and pick up the applications and we'll give them the race bibs. So we're trying to get as many people to participate in, in, in this event because it's a worthy cause. Outstanding. So yeah. what I'd like to know from each of you gentlemen now is, you know, um, you know, Mike, the bank has been a tremendous uh, community partner in so many endeavors over the years. Yes. Uh, what does it mean to you to work with um, a cause like this, like Terry's, and then Terry likewise and everything? What does it mean to you well, to have strong corporate partners? Well, I, I think the, the, the beautiful thing about this, uh, this event is that, you know, we're, we're supporting a local company and we're supporting our local people. I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, right now, for what, what Guam Cancer Care has been doing for all their patients and all the people, I mean, this is, this is our way of helping them out. And it's, it's a very devastating disease. Cancer is really bad. And, and for, for a lot of the people have to go through, it, it's difficult. And, and we're hoping that our event will, will help out their organization and, you know, reaching out to more people and, and expand their organization, you know, you know, not only to give back, but also to help those people that really need assistance. You know, especially when, when they when hit, hit the hip with this disease. All right. Well, well Bank of Guam, we're, we're, we're truly humbled, like I, I mentioned, is um, Bank of Guam started 40 years ago, going from a $1 million bank to over a billion dollars. And what we do in our organization is 100% of our proceeds stays on Guam and helps Guam cancer patients. We're 100% local. I know the community is trying to push by local, and that's what we are. All of our proceeds goes to helping Guam cancer patients access treatment. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're here to do. And there's a lot of people who need our help. And we started six, uh, eight months ago, and floodgates have opened, and more and more people call us every single day. So it's hard to, to not help. All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see you on Saturday.